So we got our hands on the beta version of MIUI 6. Planned to be launched in October, this was meant to be used by a limited number of beta testers. But the ROM leaked on the internet and we managed to install it on a Xiaomi Mi 3. So be warned, this is a buggy version of the software and we are doing this video just to give our viewers a feel of the new UI that was praised and criticized for its resemblance to iOS 7. Whatever the case, hundreds of thousands of Xiaomi phone owners will be delighted with this facelift in a matter of a few months. When you turn on the phone, you can see that the slide to unlock works just like Windows Phone. You have to swipe upwards to unlock. Gone are the four corner shortcuts that were in MIUI 5 for accessing basic functions. Next, the notification drawer is accessible even in the lock screen. You can also flick upwards in the home screen to summon a universal search function, similar to Spotlight on iOS. There is no doubt that MIUI 6 is heavily inspired by iOS 7. This is prominently seen in some parts of the OS like the settings menu or the calendar app is extremely similar to and even the calculator app is very familiar. If you're going to nitpick, then even the new multitasking feature that now shows app cards instead of just the icons looks a lot like iOS 7s. But the difference here is that you can change between the two views by simply pinch zooming. In closing, we'll let Apple and Xiaomi's legal team battle it out if it ever comes to that. Moving on, looking beyond the UI similarities, it is good to know that Xiaomi has retained some of the key functions with this visual overhaul. For example, you can still pull down on an app in the multitasking view to prevent it from being cleared by the built-in memory cleaner service. Or for example, when you're calling somebody, there is a call record option in the call menu itself. This is much better than having to rely on those third-party recording apps. There is also an option to record all calls by default. The stopwatch, timer and alarm clock app are typically used as a playground by designers to show off their skill. And as you can see, it is quite attractively made in MIUI 6. Same is the case with the weather app or the compass app. The FM radio also looks clean and is definitely not inspired from iOS because no iOS device has had FM radio to date. You also get notifications right on your lock screen. They are hidden nicely by default with a number at the bottom which upon clicking reveals the content. You also get app badges for calls and SMSs which show the number of unchecked items in those apps. Unfortunately, the app badge for third-party apps like Hangouts stays at 1 even if you get multiple messages. But it is better than having no app badges at all. On a good note, unlike iOS, when you clear the notifications from the drawer, the badges automatically clear as well. The toast notifications for some apps like calls and SMSs are actionable. For example, an incoming SMS notification has a reply button, so you can respond without having to open the app. But unfortunately, this doesn't work with WhatsApp or other third-party apps yet. Common features like Do Not Disturb are a part of MIUI 6. More interesting features include a guest mode that hides pictures, messages and notifications when turned on. You can also lock certain apps with a password or a pattern lock. The Backup and Restore app creates a single backup file containing all your data, including app data, that you can save on a computer or upload to a cloud service. This is really nice to have because moving from one Android phone to the other is generally complicated, requiring the need of third-party apps. But moving from one Xiaomi phone to another shouldn't. The security app lets you create battery profiles, where you decide which feature should be turned on and off. Then, the phone can switch from one battery profile to another depending upon the battery level or a predefined period, say every night. The permissions manager allows you to manage permissions on every app installed on the phone. There are fine-grained controls to allow, deny or prompt when an app requires an access to say the camera or the contacts etc. The camera app also has a really useful interface. After you tap to focus on a particular area, that focus circle then becomes the camera shutter button. So you can just tap there and take the shot. What's more, you can also dial the exposure from right there. Much easier than having to go through a menu to change that. There is also a audio shutter trigger, where making a loud sound will trigger the shutter after 3 seconds. You can also swipe up or down to switch between the rear and front cameras. 
all in all, Xiaomi has put a lot of gestures throughout the UI that will require some exploring on part of the user. MIUI version 6 looks pleasant, is quite fast and we hope by October they'll have a stable version out for their customers. The Xiaomi Mi 3 and Mi 4 will be the first phones to get it and it is said that the rest of the lineup will also get it later. This is Rohan for Price Baba signing off and as usual if you like this video give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Uh, a trigger, a, sh a shutter trigger, it basically responds to your voice. So if I say click, it doesn't. Click <laughs> as <laughs> click, click, click as <laughs> Oi, hey, shoot. <laughs>